Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about FFT analysis by using LT Spice. If I say FFT, that means fast Fourier transform analysis of fast Fourier transform for given circuit. I will also explain the different options to be used in order to reduce the FFT noise. So guys, please do support this channel by joining the channel membership so you can click on here join button and once you click on the join button you will see the different options let us say you want to join the channel membership you can click on the premium membership and click on the join button right now let us understand how will you analyze the fast Fourier transform FFT for a given signal so you can see here this is basically a simple sinusoidal signal here if i right click on here it's sinusoidal with the amplitude of one volt and with the frequency of two so let me run the simulation so you can see this how the signal looks like this is nothing but but basically a two kilohertz sinusoidal signal with the amplitude of one volt peak okay and let us now analyze the fast Fourier transform for this signal so in order to anal analyze the FFT for this sin sig sinusoidal signal just right click on this sinusoidal signal once you right click on it you go on view option then you can go on the FFT okay and now once you click on the FFT you have to analyze the voltage for FFT so V FFT just click on OK so now you can see clearly here your peak is at 2 kilohertz then you can see the different here different noises what is the reason for our noises since you have clearly your sinusoidal signal here you should get a peak of 2 kilohertz and there should not be noises here okay okay so if you look at the amplitude here this peak for this it goes to 0 db and you can see here down nearby it's it's a 130 db minus 130 db okay so let us now explore different options here in order to reduce this fft noise so let us so understand first this the different options here right so go at help now click on help topics now you have to go on search button and search for options you will get multiple options here and now what is the word area of scope here now what you need to do is here you need to first apply the dot option num dl num dgt so it says that historically num dgt was used to set the number of significant figures to be used for output data but in lts byte it should be greater than six so what i'll do is here i'll write go at spice directive and i'll write dot option and uh, o p t i o n then space equals to its seven let us say okay now let us put it here now let me run the again the simulation okay so if i run the again simulation you can see here now let me close this and let me run again fft for this okay go at view run the fft okay now you can see your noise is quite uh, if not more but you can see here the spike is less okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply one more option here in order to further reduce the noise this is plot win size plot window size so number of data by default it is 300 but i'll reduce to zero so i'll go again to spice directive and i'll again write the command option then plot win size then equals to zero okay so i'll keep it here i will delete once again this and i'll delete this also i'll run the simulation again let me check i'll run the fft again so go ahead view run the fft and you can see the voltage again let me change the color for this time okay it's in red 
now you can see your spike here you can see guys your spike here is quite reduced right you can see your this spike is quite reduced here at this point and this is a bit also reduced okay and you are uh, clearly seeing a narrow narrow band here okay so so this is the second step you can write these two commands now next what i'll do what i'll do is here i'll go direct directly on the simulate and edit simulation command and this time this is zero let us say this is 100 nanosecond okay so let me close again close again close again save and run so let me show you i'll run the fft again where this run fft and voltage fft and now this time let me change the color for some other color now this time you can see your this peak at 2 kilohertz is quite narrowed down and you can see here the frequency is also this noise is quite a bit reduced now you can see here this this db level is earlier it was 230 something around now it has around 315 if i click on here i'll get 313 or 315 okay so so guys that is how that is how you can understand the fft for your given circuit okay and you can if you see some noises how will you use the different options in order to reduce the noise okay okay so guys if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video